<laughs> They're gonna get a kick out of this. <laughs> this is going to be so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello there. You're finally awake. <laughs> I hope my little robin goblins weren't too rude with you. <laughs> they get very excited when they see a new chew toy roaming around. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> why did you come here? <laughs> Who sent you? Hmm, well, I know it wasn't Hit Kid. <laughs> He's too busy. Laying in a hospital bed. <laughs> and I don't think it was Needham who sent you. That leaves only one other person. And it's not gnarly Charlie. <laughs> Cause he knows better. <laughs> the person I know that sent you to find me was the fourth owner. <laughs> and yes, I know who they are. I've known who they are since the very beginning. <laughs> the Needham brothers aren't that clever. And honestly, <laughs> I'm not very impressed with who they chose as the fourth owner. <laughs> Did you think having them around was going to intimidate me? The man of the hour? The Batman? <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. <laughs> Cause here is a little secret. <laughs> The fourth owner is also in my world. <laughs> or was. Because I killed them. <laughs> so, don't even think that having them around is going to keep me in line. <laughs> but don't worry. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. <laughs> I'm not a party pooper. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the identity of the fourth owner a secret. <laughs> Think of it as a early Christmas gift from the Batman. <laughs> but just remember, I killed them once, I surely can kill them again, because here's the thing, <laughs> the one from my world was a lot tougher, <laughs> but uh, let's get down. To why you are here. <laughs> that means I get to talk about my old pal, my best friend in the whole world, Charles Schultz. <laughs> Charles, you're looking good. Did you do something to your hair recently? Well, it does look better short. And you got rid of that nasty, old, raggedy beard. <laughs> I swear you were keeping mice in that thing. But no, that's not it. Something's different. Now, what is it? What is it? Oh, that's right. <laughs> you recently lost some weight. 
<laughs> All that gold and a red leather strap. <laughs> Don't worry, Charles. The no VW title looks good on you. I mean, Zach's been pulling it off for years. And look how he looks. <laughs> Oi, Zacky! Uh, you're gonna fail again. <laughs> Just like how you and your wife have been failing at... Oh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that, am I? <laughs> I know your secret, Zack. And I know your secret, Amber. <laughs> but I'm not going to reveal that just yet. But let's just say there's something that neither one of them will ever have. <laughs> no matter how hard they tried. And trust me, I know you two tried very, very hard. <laughs> but... I'm back to you, Charlie. <laughs> You're probably wearing Betsy. Why did you turn on me? Why did you cost me my title? Well, let me correct you there, Charles. I never turned on you. You turned on me in Paradise Loss. <laughs> now, I'm going to correct a assumption a lot of people have had over the years. <laughs> Paradise Lost was never Charles. It was mine. <laughs> I was the one who gave Charles the offer and he took it. <laughs> because I know, Charles, that you've been the butt of every joke since well since the day you were born <laughs> your entire life is a joke <laughs> one big joke <laughs> i mean you lost your family your parents burned up in a car your little brother tried to murder you and broke your niece's nose or i mean your daughter Whatever the hell she is, I don't know. They all look alike to me. <laughs> How the hell can you tell those three apart anyways? <laughs> they all look like Hot Topic mannequins. <laughs> what, do they have name tags? Or <laughs> dog collars? <laughs> but Charles, you were tired of being the part of the joke. So I gave you the opportunity to be the one to tell the jokes. <laughs> and your jokes were funny. They were hilarious. Especially when you hit Needham in the back of the head with a, with a baseball bat. <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> but as the months went on, I would hear you in your room crying for your family like a pathetic little dog <laughs> i knew i knew eventually you would turn on me and you would go back to your family <laughs> but charles you made one teensy Eensy, teeny tiny, itsy bitsy little mistake. No one turns on the Batman who laughs. <laughs> because now I'm going to make your life a living hell. Don't worry, Charles. I'm not going to kill you or your family. <laughs> I'm going to drive you so far down, so crazy, that you're going to do it yourself. <laughs> I hope you have some Bibles to put by their bodies. <laughs> now, back to you, my little friend. Hello, cameraman. 
<laughs> well, you're not much of a cameraman, are you? No. <laughs> you're not. You are just some goon who works for that company. To come find me because, you know, a normal cameraman would have been eaten alive by by robbing goblins. No, you're, you're a little special. Well, not that special because you're expendable. The fourth owner knows you are. Everyone does. <laughs> you wouldn't be missed anyways. But <laughs> I'm going to send you back alive. So you can tell your story. Mm, but <laughs> you won't be whole though. <laughs> oh, little Robin Goblins. Take his hand. <laughs>